Hey guys, it's Efton, aka Ian Floyd, and I am doing another video. I know it's been a while since I did a video. You know, I've been had some other stuff going on, but this one needs to be done because this is an update video to my line in and Soundflower um, concoction, so to speak, to allow us to record a two track uh, Skype interview on um, or using Adobe Audition. So, because of uh, the new uh, iOS that's come out, Mac, OIO, uh, Mac OS, I should say, that's come out, and because Soundflower is really not being supported anymore, we're, we're having a lot of problems and you're not gonna be able to do it the way we used to do it before. Um, well, never fear, there's another way around. Um, the people who made Line In, uh, incidentally, um, and they actually, I think they brought, they brought over, I'm not sure they brought, but they brought over, uh, somehow they got, they got uh, Soundflower, and then that got passed on to someone else. Um, but they, what they did was they incorporated, they made a new program, uh, which incorporates Line In and what, what Soundflower used to do, and this one's called Loop Back. Uh, again, it's by Rogue Amoeba, and I'll put a link down below so you'll know. Um, the only difference or the drawback, you might say, is that it actually is not free software. It actually costs. I'm trying to see, I'm talking to them, trying to see if we can get a discount, if I can get them a, give us a discount. But right now, it's about $99 for the program. Um, but, you know, your company's got to make money. They've been doing, putting out line in other products, people for free. So sometimes you got to pay for something uh, that you want. So um, here we are. So without further ado, let's get into how we use this and record a multi-track recording using Skype and Adobe Audition. Now, I just, incidentally, I'll, I'll do one for uh, GarageBand in the near future, but now here we are. It's pretty much the same setup using Loopback. You see this, obviously, the program's a little bit different um, that you're recording in. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now I have it actually set up. When you open this, normally it comes up blank and you, you set up a new device. I set one up previously because I don't want to change all my parameters in the programs I'm using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a new device and show you how I got here. So up here you can name it whatever you want. Um, we'll just go ahead and say uh, loopback test just for separation purposes. And um, what we need to do is we need to load our audio sources. That's popping up because Audition thinks that I, since I already have it open, that I'm changing the channels that I'm using in it right now. It'll pop up a couple of times. Um, what we want to do is we want to figure out um, what sources we want to use uh, to bring audio in. And the first obvious one will be your microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my microphone in by hitting this plus button. And it's the source area, sources area. My microphone happens to be USB audio Kodak. Um, which is my mixer, my microphone's connected to it. Yours could be a Blue Yeti or Snowball, what have you. Uh, whatever you, whatever microphone you're using, you're, you're going to select it there. And then I'm going to bring in Skype, since Skype is what we're going to be using to bring audio from, you know, when people are, when we're listening to people, we're going to need to record that, correct? So we need to be able to hear what Skype is doing, so that's our audio source. So the, then what we're going to do is we need right now to separate the channels in here, because right now everything gets assigned to the same left and right channels uh, automatically. So on this channel mapping, it's already defaulted to auto. We're going to go ahead and change it to manual, and you'll see what I was talking about, where the channels are already already on. There's two channels, left and right, and both of them are assigned to the same two channels. What, what I want to do is I want to, I want to create um, two separate stereo pairs. I like to do it in stereo pairs. Um, my recording, but you can also, you can also when you, when you uh, go to record, you can also do it in mono, but... Let me show you how to set this up. I'm going to add two more channels. Channel three or four. You can add up to 32 channels. So you know what that means. That means you can also record, if you have another USB mic and you have two people in the studio or three people in the studio and so on, up to 32 channels. Um, well, minus, minus the, uh, the Skype channels, so 30 channels. Um, but up to 32 channels, you can record on. Um, and that means you can have different people in the studio actually recording uh, on different channels as well. So that's awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, since we already have this set up, we have to actually assign these now because they were defaulted assign assigned here. So I want to make sure that everything is where I want it to be. I'm going to start with the USB mic. And I'm going to put the first left channel here, right channel here on one and two. And then we're going to go with Skype, left channel there, right channel here. It's a little tricky sometimes. You got to get used to how this lines up. Um, I've done it a few times, so I'm getting used to it. 
So now pretty much this is everything you have to do in Lubeck to set everything up. You got your audio coming in and you're showing how you're separating it through uh, different channels here. And then we're going to show you what to do with this coming up. Also make sure that you keep mute audio sources selected here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I already have one set up and I don't want to confuse my uh, uh, Skype and, uh, and uh, Adobe Audition. I don't want to confuse what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to delete that because it's exactly the same. I'm going to go ahead and close this. You can actually close it in the background because um, it still runs, so you don't have to worry about it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in Skype. Set that up. All right. And here's my Skype. We're going to go into Skype Preferences. You'll be able to see me here. Now you guys. Um, we go to Skype Preferences. And what you're going to do here, I already have it set up, but you're going to set your microphone to Loopback, whatever, whatever you named it. Mine's Loopback Audio. That's what I named it. So that's what you're going to select here. You're going to sec select your speakers here. Mine are connected to, speakers are connected to my USB uh, mixer. So they actually come up as the same as my mic. So don't get confused here. This is actually my speakers. All right, so we're good here. Now, let me go ahead and shrink this down. And we're going to, we need to bring up Adobe Audition um, and do the setup there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Adobe Audition Preferences. We're going to go into Audio Hardware. And we are going to... Uh, set the default input to loop in or whatever you call loop back. I'm sorry, loop back. Whatever you called it, you called it uh, coming out of loop back, um, it will go here. That's what you're going to select. And the rest will be your speakers, the same thing, just like we did in, um, in Skype. So you're going to leave that to your USB uh, speakers. Then we'll go ahead and close this. Say OK. And then now we're, we are in multi track mode. And just so you know how I got here, we're going to go file, new, multi-track session, and that'll get you here. What we're going to do is normally these come defaulted as none, so I'll switch these back just so you see what I did. We're going to go onto the first track, in which I named host right up here. This is going to be the microphone that we selected, the channels that we selected. So I'm going to go into stereo. Here's where you can select mono if you want. I like stereo. Um, it's your preference. So I'm going to go ahead and select the stereo pair. That's where, where it says zero, 01 stereo, which is 1 and 2 for the host track, which is the same one and two that we set up. If you remember back in loop data, here we go. See right here, we did one and two. All right, and then we're gonna set Skype to three and four right here. Put that down here. So my Skype channel, I'm gonna go ahead and select the, the none here, two stereo, uh, which is three and four right here, with stereo pairs. So now we're all set up in here. Now we just have to make sure we arm our tracks as usual. You'll see my voice coming through there on the meters. And then we'll go ahead and arm Skype and we'll also make, want to make sure we can monitor it. I, mean, I haven't been monitoring uh, through my mixer right now, but um, when you're recording, you want to be able to see this. So now I think we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring Skype back into the mix. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, start recording so you can see what happens. And then we're going to go ahead and run Skype a test call. Now, by the way, in order to set up a test call in Skype, you just, you just type in here, uh, echo one, two, three. And that will bring up a uh, Skype test call for you. So, um, I shouldn't have typed it in. It's going to do a search. See, there it is right there. Um, it says I already have it up. Not a big deal. Let me go ahead and hit record. And let's go ahead and do our test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. This is a test one, two, three. This is a test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. This is a test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured. So, I'll go ahead and play this back for you. Let's make sure you show that it, you can tell by the levels that I've been, it's been recording. So let's just roll it back real quick so you can hear it for yourself. And we'll go ahead and, and let's go ahead and do our test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. This is a test one, two, three. This is a test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. One, two, three. This is a test. One, two, three. 
Test one, two, three. And there you have it. There you have it. Now, I came in a little late. That's why there's a little chop off on there, but that has nothing to do with the setup. Um, but I should say I came in a little early on, on the Skype call. But there you go. That's it. That's exactly how you do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, obviously, you just post them down below. And do me a favor, hit that like button if you like what I'm doing, if it's helpful to you at all. I really appreciate it. So, um, again, I'm, I'm probably going to do one later on for Garage, for those that use GarageBand. Um, it's, it's free, so a lot of time, with Mac, so a lot of times it's something that, or it used to be free. I'm not sure if it's free anymore. Now that I say that, I don't want to say that. Um, but it's very inexpensive. So I'll show you how to do that later on. Um, but until next time, um, I'll see you later. Have a good one.